Hey guys, Night Raven here, and it's time for some more Hydro Near. <sighs> now, right, I had to set these up. That, okay, that's off, so I don't really have to worry about that. So that means I can, I can move these. I also need water for that. Okay, i pick that up. Where am I going with this? Just going to put this... You know what? There. Since I don't technically need them anymore, I might as well shove them here. Okay. Um... Which direction should I have this facing? Uh, you know what? I guess that will do. Oh, uh, pick you up. There we go. Oh, <coughs> I just remembered. I need to move these. Ah. Uh, you know what, let's leave them there, just in case. Move this over here. That way I know I can see them if I ever do look in this direction. There we go. And grab this. Place that there, and place this here. There we go. Okay. Lock those in place. That way you don't accidentally hit E on them and move them somewhere else. Okay. Now to put all my Cloutium together. Okay, yeah, and it instantly melts down. That I like. <clears throat> this way I can have all the stuff melted down instantly without having to sit around and have it like, like sitting around here waiting for it to melt and seeing what I can make with it. Okay, melt this little guy together. But the rest of it, I doubt I'm going to melt this, not melt down, uh, turn this into a bar too often, since a lot of the stuff that requires Cloutium is done at the, uh, that cave property, um, not Snow Rune Falls, yeah, Ice Helm. It has that one little spot. Okay. Oh. I should really position it like this. I should have grabbed my money. I can't believe I actually have enough for... I just realized I couldn't easily just... buy the pipe stuff there and then just use the truck to bring it over with the money and any other conveyor belts I may grab. I wonder what that, uh, I guess it's steam, the stuff coming out of the, uh, the, 
exhaust nozzle on this thing. Okay. This is just the... Oh, that's different. Concrete floor. Concrete floor large. 20 Hydra coins. Ooh, a chair. A simple chair. 200 Hydra coins. Uh, uh. Simple bed. Camp bed. Uh, a lot of these things I doubt I'm ever going to use, so... Is there any way of getting those type of walls? Those look cool. Uh, oh. Wood wall window. Wood wall. Those look more like stone walls. Uh, doesn't look like it. Those would make a nice house. Not sure what I would do in it, but still. <laughs> that, that would be actually cool. Okay, okay, um. Uh. 632 hydro coins. Cloud. Oh! That's a pump mark 2. Okay, so Okay, I'm not going to be able to afford these things Even with fishing I I'm not going to afford anything Okay So much for that plan Ah, uh, how much for these? Ah, oh, damn, I can't even afford those. Well, so much for that plan. Well, at least I got to use this. I wonder if they actually ever, you know, added more artifacts to the two new properties they added. Like, I, I know there's six artifacts in the four previous properties. I'm just wondering if... I should really stop this when I get out. That way I know it's not going to roll away on me. Okay, uh, got this. Place this in here. Okay, so. Damn! Can't even afford that. Okay, time to... Guess I don't really need that. Oh! Uh, nah, I'll leave it down there. I thought I went to bed and it was morning. Oops. Okay, that that's more than enough light for this, so
Alright. I might as well see how well this turns out. And I might as well get right. the this area cleared out so I can get the uh, easier way of getting in and out of this right. property when I get deep enough into it. I keep finding the full buckets and trying to shove more into it. Okay, there we go. It's at that right angle I can't... I keep thinking I'm getting the uh, dirt, but it's a... on, like... the stuff you can't dig up. I might as well stay near the light instead of uh, constantly going uh -huh. to other spots. Like, I want this area opened up a little bit, but not that quickly. Like, I'm going to get to it eventually, it's just... I better not go nuts uh -huh. in other areas for... I better do this area first before I start saying, hey, let's start edging our way along here, getting further and further away from the light. Okay, um, that one still has space in it. to remember do the upside down one first that way I know it's completely full when I empty it I also have to be careful of the uh, buckets like digging underneath them I don't want them to suddenly start spazzing out and uh, going into the property again. Okay, that's full. That's full. Okay, let's process this stuff. There we go. Having it all smelted down instantly, instead of having a giant crucible sitting around waiting for more to be added. Well, stuff will still be added, it's just... This way I know it's going to line up properly and actually go into there instead of all over the place and I have to take the time and effort to pick up every single piece of iron and gold just floating around here. I I just thought that I just saw that I could use that thing down there and just shove it over there. That way I can then grab one of these and like I <sighs> Like as in grab this and this, shove it here so that I can finally just get all these gems put together. I'll save. 
every once in a while when the auto save kicks in like that, I sort of wonder what the hell is going on with the game. <sighs> One good thing I like about these smelters here, all the stuff is going in, not just Well, stuff like that I know is going to plop here and not. There's always a chance of it falling into there, so. Okay. This is actually working out really well. I'm very happy I set these up. And I am very happy that I actually had sufficient amounts of money to afford these. Because it was getting a rather ridiculous picking up, like taking the time to pick up a whole bunch of iron and copper, or not uh, copper, Iron and gold sitting around here. I wonder how long I should wait before I... Like, I wonder how long I should wait before I actually... Pour out the iron and gold and make stuff. Because... When it's like that a liquid state it's like when it's a liquid state inside these uh, smelters it can be a little tricky to judge how much there is in there until you pour it out and it's like oh you have this much iron or you have this much gold sitting in there And it's like, I don't know how much it costs until I actually make a weapon or a piece of jewelry with it. <sighs> I've seen the videos of the, uh, the new stuff coming out in this game. And it looks rather amazing, some of the stuff you can do, like the, uh, like the one device that can flatten out all the dirt. And you can make a farm and everything else down the line like that, it's just... Part of me wants to try those things out, but I... I want to do that on a different save, not this one. This one is going to be my mining save and stuff like that, while I could make another save for, uh, like, farming or something. I probably will have to put that one into creative mode or something, because I... I am really not in the mood to have two different save files going at the same time and and have one have one of them set up like this where I'm taking the time effort time and effort to make my own money build everything and stuff like that and another save where I'm trying to farm like start my own little farm and everything trying to create, like, grow my own crops and everything else down the line. Although, there are, there are other games that are like farming simulators and I could just as easily do that in those games as well, not just this game. 
Although, it would be kind of nice to see what it would be like in something like this. See what they come up with. Because I have seen, like, a lot of different types of games out there that are like, Oh, this one's great. This one, this game is over here is really great, real nice and everything. And then, oh, look. This is a piece of crap. Why would you make this? Uh, and it's like, I don't want to get into games where it's like, the rating is like overwhelmingly negative and people are like, oh, you should try it. It's really great. And it's like, then why is the Steam review 12% instead of around 80% or something like I I enjoy games that are like at least above mixed reviews on Steam and this game is well into the uh, I have no idea I have I have not really looked at the Steam page in a while Oh, I feel so stupid for saying that, but it's still. You know what? Let's hammer this down. And take these two pipes. There we go. Get all of these in here. That way I can finally have a singular gem. I knew the emerald was going to be the largest since I have so many of them. Like, I even have more to add to it. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot, if you turn while dropping something, you actually throw it and not drop it. Like, you actually throw it instead of just dropping the thing. Okay, um... Ah. Uncut emerald. There we go. How is the... I guess they're about the same. Like, I, I knew the emerald was going to be significantly larger than the other two. Okay, and shove this. Oops. It would help if I lined it up properly. Really? Ah, damn it. Ah, another one. Another gem that I... I missed. And didn't realize until now. Um, where did you... Ah. Now I'm a little paranoid if I'm missing anything else. Okay, I... I think that's all of it now. It's 
since it's just a gem and Okay, there we go. Everything is together. There. And hammer these, hammer that down, and this thing, just in case I accidentally hit E on them, and move them around somehow. There we go. How much was that Ice Helm property? It was something like 7,000 Hydro Coins? I know I can technically make a ring and stuff, but I want to see how much this costs now. Uh, 184 Hydro Coins. Was this always here? Oh! That is... Is that iron or that scrap metal stuff? I can't tell. If this is new, this is amazing. I did not realize this was here until now. Have I always just been looking this way and not realize that was there? I guess it's been positioned in such a way I don't really think about it until now. One of these days, I hope to get another Onyx gem. <sighs> I think this is a good stopping point anyways. I managed to get quite a bit done. A lot more than I was expecting. Well. I hope you enjoyed this episode, you know, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching, until next episode, bye!